INFP stands for Introverted, Intuitive, Feeling, and Perceiving. They are the daydreamers and peace-revering souls of the 16 Myers-Briggs personalities. To INFPs, it's a challenge to live in an extroverted and sensing world. While everyone pursues power, ranks, structure, and money, society treats our very core, compassion, peace, independence, vision, and creativity as inferior or merely a bonus. INFPs lead a life of concepts, compassion, and authenticity. Scrap these traits off of an INFP and you'll get a breathing body, but a numbed soul. Now, how do INFPs overcome such purposelessness? Let's get to that. But before we proceed, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel for more INFP personality videos. 5 Things to Remember for INFPs Feeling Lost and Worthless 1. It's not that you're purposeless. Rather, you're in the process of discovering it. Do you feel like you're stuck and uncertain about your life? Do you feel lost, even when multitudes of opportunities appear right in front of your eyes? Indeed, it's frustrating. But remember, you're not lost, but in the midst of discovering. Having extroverted intuition function as an auxiliary makes INFPs natural discoverers. Your curiosity bounds you to try out new things, research, experiment, and self-reflect. No wonder INFPs are jacks of all trades, wise and intrapersonally intelligent people. With NE, INFPs acquire a constant drive to seek possibilities, tackling multiple facets of life in their mode of learning. That said, there's no way people can cage INFPs in a box and expect them to work at their best. Remember that INFPs are not bound to just choose one, when we're wired to do enormous life experimentations. 2. Compete with yourself, not with others. INFPs have a nasty habit of comparing themselves to people. But here's what I realized after years of observing my own insecurities. It's that INFPs shine the brightest when they mind their own business. As we shut off our social media accounts, we see no one flaunting their businesses. No one brags about their achievements. We don't have to keep up with the Joneses. No one tells us what we're supposed to do, and no influencer suggests rabid life goals. Basically, we can build a wall against our insecurity, refrain from competing with others, and focus more on our growth. 3. Know your core strengths and stay true to them. Stop leading a life where you never make use of your strengths. I once questioned myself, why did I take years of engineering courses when I'm into philosophies and understanding human connection? I once believed I wasted years on a skill I don't highly resonate with. Do I regret it? To be honest, at first I did. But as I mentioned above, INFPs start off as a blank slate and need experiences to uncover their supposed path. If we didn't try multiple courses in the past, we wouldn't realize which paths actually work for us. Don't regret the experiences we spent our time with. Our past leads us to who we are today, a bit wiser every day. I live by my own saying, when in doubt, I do everything out. In the end, once an INFP realizes and uses their real faculties, they inevitably excel and eventually find peace, value, and purpose. 4. INFPs are late bloomers. INFPs are reflective enough to pick up the lessons from every experience. Each struggle may be soul-sucking, but time and time again, these idealists come out wiser with a bigger perspective in life. Here's a short story. I and my INFP friend had a deep conversation recently. We talked about the secret battles we fought in the past, the time we disappeared from the world and the months we blocked everyone both personal and online. We admitted how gloomy and hopeless we were and shared the stories we were too ashamed of back then. But this time, we're not complaining. Instead, we're amazed at how every pain we felt before start to connect like puzzle pieces. It seems like everything just clicked and made total sense. As INFPs experience a whirlwind of emotions, struggles, and disappointments, they will eventually reach valuable conclusions, too. After numerous heartbreaks, they start to understand life better, understand themselves better. And once INFPs reach a finale, they set their sails again to discover more in life. That's just how INFPs are, and there's nothing wrong with it. Truly, we bloom late, but we'll glow great, grow wise, and lead a hopeful life. Optimists, aren't we? 5. If you don't fit in, why not carve your own path? 
Many INFPs described working in corporate jobs as mind, heart, and soul shattering. Toxic workmates, unsympathetic management, and a heavily structured work week were all the red flags INFPs sucked up in exchange for a paycheck. Fortunately, INFPs are rebels, led by their introverted feeling function. They are driven to pursue what they believe in and rarely conform to social norms. So if ever you don't fit in anywhere else, why not create your own tracks? I found myself in writing and freelancing. Many INFPs freed themselves through business. Of course, you can do it too. In conclusion, INFPs are discoverers. You must not suppress yourself, your interests, and your goals. Keep on trying until you land a career that resonates with you. Pick up which ones you can compromise and set aside the ones that you can't. Life for an INFP is a puzzle piece hunt. You won't get the big picture if you don't seek and experience. You may feel worthless today, but remember, INFPs have the highest morals, values, and profound self-reflective thoughts among the 16 Myers-Briggs personalities. That means your wisdom and skills can undeniably grow to stupendous heights more than anyone else. You may feel lost, but in truth, discoveries knock on your doors like a nudging kid asking for attention. Rest assured that new opportunities will pop up and rise. Better yet, you're the one who will create them. Thanks for watching.